What's up guys, Diego here. Um, this video is gonna be very, very, very basic, but I need you guys to understand this. What we're doing in Diego Guevara Coaching is all based on online business and social media. So this is gonna be key for you guys to understand before you do anything else. So this video is gonna be all about the workflow. The workflow refers on once you have your social media going and you have your offer, what are gonna be the steps between your content and your offer? So let's get right into the video. Okay, so let's take a quick look at what do I mean with the workflow. So as I said, it is gonna be the process between a, a person that watches your content and a person that completes an offer and buys a product. Your first step is always gonna be your traffic source. So once you define what your traffic source is, you're gonna do, obviously you're gonna start creating content. So you're gonna go to YouTube, you're gonna go to TikTok, you're gonna do whatever you gotta do within your traffic sources. So within your traffic sources, you're always gonna have a place in which you can um, add a link. So this is gonna be a link in bio. Here is where the workflow begins. So here is where the where, where the workflow begins. Um, it is gonna be very important for you to define what the steps are gonna be. So you have to be very clear and concise about that. So one example can be, so, YouTube, TikTok, and IG. So let's say these are your three traffic sources. Your next step is gonna be the link. Your next step is gonna be what we call a landing page. So basically the home page of your website. Right? So here you're gonna wanna uh, outline what type of visuals you're gonna have, what type of text, whether you're gonna have a headline. So this is gonna be the first impression. This is gonna be super important for you guys to get people's attention, um, for it to be visually attractive and for the text and video to be about yourself, to show your face and your products or your services. So you're gonna say, hey, I'm Diego, I'm a business coach, etc." So you're gonna be personal and it has to be very attractive. So from here, you're gonna take them to what we call a, a sales process. So for example, I know a lot of you guys are interested in affiliate marketing, but it, this works with anything. Um, one example can be to a freebie, also known as bait. So here, you're gonna give them a visual with some text, but right here, there's gonna be a button in which people can opt in. So this is what we call an opt-in. So you're gonna get their email in exchange of a free product. So once we got the email and once people accepted some type of content from us, now they're gone into the sales process. So of course you can add different steps here or here. Uh, maybe you can have a testimonials page or maybe you, ha you can have another video, whatever. But this is gonna be your decision. You're, you're gonna um, need this to be as clear as possible. And you're go then gonna go build out this in different softwares. But the first step is to draw it out just as I'm doing right here and then you're gonna transfer that into a computer, into a software. So after the bait and the freebie, of course, people are gonna go both ways. They're gonna go to your email, which is um, later on in more detailed videos, we're gonna talk about email marketing, but this is gonna be crucial, or they can go to another step, which once they join and they pass through all these steps, you can make your first offer. And you can say, hey, for only those of you that accepted the freebie, I'm gonna give you a one-time offer. So instead of $27, you're gonna pay $15. So 
So this is just going to be there. Once the client goes out of that link, they lost the opportunity to actually get that price. Um, and of course, once they do, and even if they say no, um, even if they say no to your first offer, you're going to take them to a thank you page. So how would this look in a website? So your homepage, then you can have your freebie page, which we call an opt-in. If you guys don't know these terms, go ahead and search them, opt-in page. After this, we're gonna take them to a one-time offer page. And of course, this would have to have a checkout. Um, this is gonna be more detailed for the print for the beginners. This is not gonna be necessary. Um, and after this, a thank you page. So it is that simple. So this is gonna be like your outro. And this can be like, for example, return to home or things like that. So it might seem more, much more difficult than it actually is. So once you got this detailed um, and then add and remove things that are not necessary or maybe add some visuals or design or branding, whatever, you're gonna wanna take this and actually convert it into a web page or into a funnel. So if you guys don't know that, please um, go ahead and learn it. It's super simple. But the first step in everything is gonna be a brainstorming and you're gonna wanna see this with your eyes so that you understand what your audience is going through when they're trying to buy your products. So again, this process is gonna be different for every single business. However, the main aspect I want you guys to take from this video is that you must write this down. You must visualize what your audience goes through when they're trying to buy your product. So if you have some great content, but you don't have a, an effective process that has a workflow so that people, um, so that it's easier for people to buy. So in a previous video, I gave you guys a clear example. If a storefront, for example, let's say, um, I don't know, if the Nike store has a lot of bodyguards in the entrance and it's it has a lot of riddles and the cashiers are at the, at the, at the end of the store, it's going to be much more difficult for people to actually complete a purchase. So what you want to do is simplify the process in which people get to know you through social media and your content and complete a purchase. So how do you do that? By writing it down, visualizing every single element, um, proofreading, so add things, remove things, um, and then go ahead and build this out. So hope you guys enjoyed the quick video. I know this wasn't um, as detailed as usual, but I want you guys to start thinking about what you need to actually start your business and a workflow is one of the most important things that nobody talks about, but you need to have this clear. It is the blueprint of what you're building. So see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so. It helps us out a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Pura vida.